Hey guys, it's Vic here, and welcome to my adventure production. And today I will be showing you guys how to install The Sims 3 on your computer without org. There are many people that had issues with org because many people think that, you know, the Sim is the Sims 3 that has its own problem, but they're wrong about it. It's because it's org that's having some issues. And also, when I first played The Sims 3 since 2016, I installed it in my computer and I didn't have org that time at first. And since I collected all the inspection packs, and that's when org had showed up and wanted me to join org. And I've been having so much issues with it over the years. And my dad and I have been trying to figure it out. Why do we have to play it with org? Because it just makes no sense. And my dad tried to get contact with them. So since a few years later in 2018... I started to have remember, which my memory had, like, came all of a sudden. When Daddy and I talked about, you know, uh, figuring out how to play The Sims 3 without org, because Dad tried to figure out how we can set The Sims 3 without having to use org. And I figured in my mind, I started to think, what if I can uninstall the org out of my computer, uninstalled everything to refresh the memory on the computer and just install the sims 3 in the computer and sure enough i got the sims 3 in my computer and it doesn't even show org at all and also when you do put the inspection packs in the game like all the inspection packs as you can see i got so many of them well i install one because i'm doing this for to show you guys how to do things well when you do install all the inspection packs in what i missed was when it asks you if you want to add org in when you add expansion packs you have to add a check mark on it to accept it to be on org or uncheck more to not accept use org which i didn't even think about that soon as i figure it out because i'm smart and i did outsmart ea company and all that stuff also they've been saying a lot of their excuses and all of their lies saying that you have to use org well the thing was they wouldn't be honest that time that you can't play the sims 3 without org because you want to know why because a long time ago, let's go to Google Chrome and I will we'll show you why. Okay, as I went to Sims 3 and I did some research. So as you can see here, the Sims 3 was first made in June the 2nd, 2009. And when I type in origin or organ, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see here. Orden was first existed made in June the 3rd, 2011. That's what made me realize a long time ago at 2009, a lot of people had played The Sims 3 without org. That's because they it was never existed that time. So that's the reason why I figured you don't have to play The Sims 3 with org. It made total sense that you can play without org. I mean, do one of y'all remember playing The Sims 3 without it? I mean, y'all never had the same issues before? I mean, let me know because I feel like it made total sense and I figured this out and I know the way to solve y'all problems. So that's why I'm here to make a video of how to install The Sims 3 without or so step one be sure you have the sims 3 disc with you and i'm gonna put the sims 3 in my computer i in uninstalled uh the sims 3 and also the other program that was with it so let me put the sims 3 as you put the disc in just wait for the thing popping up okay click on it and then click here Okay, and also when we'll ask you, do, do you allow this? And just click yes. <sighs> oh, and also I'm going to have to type in the code thing. Okay, hold on. All right, you got to set the language thing, which let me set it to English. Okay, and also, um, okay, it's, you got to click next. Okay, and... 
also leave it as it is United States of America because I live in America and of course you got to click here to accept this term of the license agreement if you leave it this right here it won't allow, allow you to put in your computer so you have to click here click next and also this type of setup thing which I leave it the way it is also I, it's best to leave it on type I can't read that thing I don't know what custom does I would rather just leave it the way it is you know leave it here so go to next okay and also just installed oh wait I don't have to add the code in oh okay oh wait exactly okay never mind you don't have to add the code in I just I thought you have to because it has a code in there for some reason <laughs> all right so let it load it might take a while so let's just fast forward okay guys now that it's done it says, would you like to install latest EA download management? If you do not install the latest DA blah blah blah, purchase cannot be delivered to your machine. So you have to have the EA download management. If you don't know what that is, um, I want to say this is a lifesaver. It's not the same like organ. It, it's like, you know, it will give you latest uh, uh, updates, you know, a full version uh, of it when you, the first person to download the Sense 3 and you don't have enough version, well, the EA Download Manager will give you the highest version. So yeah, keep it as it is, keep the check mark there, and just go to Next. And then there's going to be, look, see, there's the EA download manager, manager, whatever you want to call it. You have to have that as well. Okay, also go to the, uh, the Sim, I want to go to the Sims 3 launcher. Okay, yeah, see, as you can see, my version is low. So what you got to do in order to get a higher version you got to wait when um when this pops up it says update available a software update is available would you like to update your game so click yes because it will give you a high version so the ea download manager right here it's downloading or whatever it's doing giving you the high version so let's let that load of course we got to wait again <laughs> so fast forward speed Alrighty, it didn't take that long. So of course, again, when um, when it asks you that, you gotta always click yes to that, and it will go into the Sims 3 launcher, and it will give you a 1.67 something. How much? You know the version gives you. You know what I'm talking about. And oh. Oh, okay, hold on. It, oh, yeah, see, the install wizard is updating from to the old version. I, you can see 1.00631. That's my old version, the lowest version of The Sims 3 to version 1.672 to, like, higher version. That's what the EA Dollar Manager is doing. So, also, I don't think that will take long because it takes fast to to do this here. If it takes long, I'll just fast forward speed. All right, now it's done. It says install wizard has update to Sims 3 through version, you know, that. So click finish and also go to the Sims 3, or actually it's loading. There we go, see? Now I have one point, as you can see, this is the high version that the, the EA Download Manager gave me. And that's how you install your Sims 3 game in your computer.
But there's more. If you don't have all the expansion pack, well, you know, when you play The Sims 3 without Org, you have to have a disc in. The original Sims 3 game. But for mine here, I got so many expansion packs. As you can see, if I click play, it will tell you that, that it won't run. And it will tell you which disc you got to play to use. Which disc you have to use for it to pro proceed. I know it sounds weird why you know you can't play without playing a disc the org lets you play the sims 3 without a disc well when you're not using org you got to play it with a disc it's just part of the design or something we're gonna head on to the next step which we're gonna start with expansion packs so I'm gonna show you of when you download in any expansion packs you get you have to watch out what you you gotta be sure to read before you continued of wanting to play it you have to make sure where it will ask you if there if you want to use org which you have to avoid which I'll show you how to do it so let me get my 70s and 90s which I uninstalled that I only did that so that I can show y'all how to do this and with all that I said I said about so let's put, again, you got to put any, you have to have all the inspension pack disc, which I'm a collector. Of course, I got so many inspension packs. You have to have everything in your, you know, everything here on your start desktop or whatever you want to call it. I'm not knowing which one it is. Okay, so let's put the, the inspension pack that I don't have in my computer. And again, let the thing pop up here. Alright, click on it, and then same thing we have to do, Got to, of course, click yes as well. Um, also, um, it's going to ask you, it's going to tell you that you have to add the code in, which it will show you, it will show here in a sec. So, okay, click next, and of course you got to click here, of course, like, you know, same thing before, you got to always have the, uh, exception the user thing okay then it's it's gonna show please enter your registration code fine enter yeah okay I'm gonna do that but I'm also gonna skip it because I don't want y'all to know my code okay and click next and then your uh, registration codes goes through and also leave it the way as is at my, as mine is okay and then if you review a change okay and then just click install and let it do let the instruction pack game go in which I will show you after that's done I will show you of what I didn't know and what I missed when I first you know got one of the instruction packs I missed by reading that it asked me about the organ you have to always pay attention and watch out what you're clicking which I will show you after that's done to how to avoid using org also you can't best not to add org on your computer because what's gonna happen if you do the sims 3 will immediately go in org keep it separate from any of the Sims 3 on there. I have to keep it separate because I have to do it on my other computer. I have an old laptop. I um, I use my other one to play the Sims 4 on org because um, you can't play Sims 4 without org, which I already tried. Okay, so yeah, look, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I missed here for what I didn't realize at first that I did not pay attention. It says, would you like to install the latest version on org then? If you do not install the late, which ignored what that says. So the way to keep it from going to org is by take the check mark off of there, click it where there's going to be no check mark and just click next. And that's it. The org will not go in your Sims 3. And that's how you do it easy right so yeah that's it guys my advice is don't go to org 
because they all they want to do is want you to pay things or whatever they want you to do. I had my friend Christina, she was on org at first and she had same issues and also I helped her of how to play The Sims 3 without org and she does play The Sims 3 without org right now. And there's some other YouTubers out there that's having the same issues like Mary Mew. She had the same problems too as well. Thank you for guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this is helpful for you. Well, I'm not going to say I hope this is helpful. I just know it will help. You know, I'm like really glad to help you guys of how to do it. I know there's some people out there that don't know how and things like that. So I will do a other different videos. I will see you guys in the next video or anything.